Hi, this is Paul. Let's talk about this Liam Neeson controversy or Liam Neeson statement. Uh, he's out there promoting his movie Cold Pursuit, I think, which comes out Friday. And he basically said that uh, I think 30 years ago, or however long it was ago, one of his friends, I guess a female friend, told him that he was, um, that she was raped. And of course, uh, he wanted to know uh, who did it and, and uh, you know, what, the, what color they were. And of course, she told him it was a black man. So apparently, for his revenge, one, uh, he didn't want to just go get. He didn't want to go get the guy who actually hurt his friend. He wanted to got an attack about any random black person. I guess I don't know how many black people are in Ireland. I assume there's some for this to have happened. But uh, apparently, he said he went out for a couple of days uh, looking for any random black person to basically to pick a fight with, so he can get his therapeutic revenge. Now the thing is, and maybe because he's not from America, but he's been in America long enough to know the history of this country of, of, at a time when black men were getting accused of stuff and getting lynched and how absolutely dangerous that was. Now he brought this subject up in an interview uh, because they were asking how did he, how did he, you know, prepare for this role, which is like a father seeking revenge for his son dying. So, how, so he said he tapped into this feeling that he had the, all those years ago and you know how he went out for that week to try to randomly start with and, and pick any random black guy instead of wanting revenge which uh, against the person that hurt your friend which I can understand that but he just didn't want that man he you know that was a prejudice he wanted to hurt any random black person to which again which is what was done in in, in all over the uh, uh, United States uh, back in the day, lynching, modern day lynchings, guys getting convicted for a guy, Emmett Till is a very good case of that, of a guy, of a young kid being killed, uh, literally, uh, dragged from his house and mutilated and, and killed because of, of a lie. And, and, but not even, even if he did, if he did it, which he obviously didn't do it, they didn't. There's a history in this country, which is why, of course, black people are sensitive to this. And the very fact that he brought this up, I don't care if he wrote that in a book or something, you know, that's, you know, if that really happened. And, and it shows that he is human, but don't expect people to stand up and applaud you for admitting this, okay? That just shows that you were prejudiced, because you, you didn't want to just beat up the person who raped your friend, which would be a natural inclination, you know, natural human reaction. You just wanted to beat up any random black person. Okay, and he didn't have, it could be, it's a perfectly innocent person you want to, you want to hurt, which makes no sense. Okay, which absolutely makes no sense. Okay, which, uh, obviously he said he went and got help for that, obviously, but I, I don't understand why, first of all, I don't understand why he admitted this. Although, I guess if you want to be perfectly honest and uh, if that's your thing, but to even, to mention it to me is, you know, sort of, I don't know, maybe sort of random, but they asked him the questions, so I guess he, that's what he uses, but still, it just is, it's, it's incredibly, I don't know why he, again, it just seems a, a very, not, not bizarre, because people, let's face it, people do, okay, there's a lot of people that have prejudice in this world, okay, black people included, so, you know, it just, it's just really, it's, it's just, I find it mind-boggling, I don't know, if people, some people say, oh, his career is what, his, is over and all this stuff. No, I don't think his career is over. Unfortunately, I don't think it's, this is going to detail. The movie's probably not going to make as much money <laughs> as it could have made <laughs> before he opened up his mouth. But, but I don't think his career is going to be over and stuff and stuff. Because, like I said, he'll go out. I know he, they said he canceled an appearance on on, on uh, Late Night with Stephen Colbert, but he he did appear on uh, uh, Good Morning America, and he'll go on uh, other shows probably and do his Mia Coppola and stuff about, oh, how that was wrong and all that stuff. But I just, it just seems sort of random that he would bring that up. But I mean, I guess it's not random to somebody asking about what he taps into, but like, I don't know, just admitting that, I guess, I don't know. Like, you know, I guess people say, well, he's just, he's admitting that everybody, human, has prejudices, which is true. But I just, it just seems sort of random, okay? And does it change my opinion of Liam Neeson? No, not really. I don't, like I said, life, like I said, I'm a 53-year-old man, okay? I've seen things and read things. So finding out that Liam Neeson at one time wanted to 
kill random black people because his friend got hurt. His friend got raped by a Pacific black people, and he just wanted to kill random black people as for revenge. No, that doesn't surprise me. Look at it again. Look at the history in this country of what happened to black men, lynchings and stuff. And so, so it doesn't really surprise me at all. Although, like I said, yeah, the very fact that. And, and maybe somebody has to explain to him the history. Like I say, I know he's Irish, but he's been in this country long enough to know the history of this country and the way black men were treated and even treated to this day. Okay, uh, Colin Kaepernick, remember that? You know, and trying to uh, make a point about that. And now he's been effectively blackballed from the NFL. And I hope he, I hope he, I hope he gets a big, gigantic settlement against the NFL anyway. But that's just a random something else. But again. And maybe they, he does need to sit down and have a conversation where somebody can explain it to him and he can understand why, you know, what black people or people in general could feel a certain kind of way about this. Are you admitting that you wanted to kill a random black person? How, how am I supposed to take that? I'm supposed to say, oh, well, he said it was years ago and he got help for that. No, that's going to make me look at you different, okay? And I know this human and nobody's perfect, but that is going to make me look at you different, okay? I'm not going to throw away my Liam Neeson movies or whatever or Ago, or that's it, or he's done, say he's done in Hollywood. I don't think that's going to happen anyway. But yeah, I just think, yeah, if I was his agent, I would say, Are you, are you fucking insane? <laughs> oh, if you're going to do that, I mean, come on, you do this right before a movie comes out. It seems sort of random that, okay, that you've lived with this all this time and never said anything about it. But this movie's about revenge. It wasn't taken about revenge. He never mentioned that before, but all of a sudden he brings up this, in, uh, this, racist act he thought he had in his head that he actively actually pursued but luckily i guess for for the random black person that was living in ireland that they didn't run into him uh and, which you know it's just, that's why this i don't even know why he brought it up but again again like i said i'm not surprised again that what some people are prejudiced and and and, and black, like i said black people included but Again, this the history. He doesn't know that. Well, I I, I think he would should be known. Somebody's gonna educate him. I remember I saw a video of Roland Martin, you know, where he was kind of speaking directly to Liam Neeson and telling him about the history of this country of black men being accused of stuff and and being you know, <laughs> and just being you know not not committing kinds of me and being falsely murdered and and convicted and lynched. Literally, it is a history in this country. So, and maybe somebody ex explain that to him about why black people and other people feel a certain kind of way. You admitting that you you went around looking for some random person instead of the person, the actual person that actually killed, that raped your, uh, your friend, which people could understand. People could understand that part, but you just looking for any random uh, black person is where people are going to have an issue with, with it. Anyway, let me know what you think of this Liam Neeson uh, controversy or whatever. Uh, like I said, I think it's going to hurt his box office probably a little bit because I think the Lego movie is going to probably make more money this weekend anyway. And so his movie will do good because people will not give a crap. You know, it's a Liam Neeson movie. You know what you get. You know, it's going to get a, you know, doing random violence and stuff. Okay. But again, yeah, like I said, maybe he'll go on another show and people, like I said, people can explain. You have a black man on and explain him the history of this country and why people, is, you know, are going to feel a certain kind of way. You admitting you want to you went out looking to kill that random or hurt a random black person instead of the person that actually hurt your friend. Why that is, you know, people are going to look at you sideways about that. Okay, anyway, let me know what you think, thoughts. Feel free to leave comments down below. I have a link to my social media in the description box. I have a link to my other channel, Paul Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Paul saying so long. And Oh, yeah, my, I'm sorry. I paused the video. <laughs> I have a link to my main channel, Trey Pastor, in the description box. You can check that out as well. And this is Paul saying so long. And take care.